Uh, second part, I'm going to tell you my real life experience of uh, one Christian evangel that actually tried to use this on me. He said, Ah, John, uh, Matthew 28, 19, therefore, you know, I can go and baptize, you know, now uh, give me justification to call all you, uh, you know, uh, non Jews, invite them to Jesus and baptize in Matthew's uh, in this formula. And I said to him, Look, man, do you, uh, basically, I repeat what I just said before, but without all of the uh, textual references, I just said to him, Do you know why? No, no real uh, debaters will ever use this because from, because the Bible, subhanAllah, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they all contradict each other. But the most severe contradiction happens from the time of su the supposed uh, crucifixion of Jesus to the resurrection and how Jesus went to heaven. That part, the last part where, of where Jesus crucified and resurrected, this part, they had Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they had the most severe contradictions. So anything you quote from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, from the crucifixion onwards, it's all contradicting each other. Whatever you say, if, whether you pick something from Matthew, it's going to contradict Mark. If you pick something from Mark, it's going to contradict John. So how can you use uh, Matthew 28, 19 or anything that's supposed to happen after the, the crucifixion of Jesus as evidence for me when your Bible contradict each other? Because if I believe Matthew, then I have to don't believe John. If I believe John, then I have to don't believe Luke. You don't try to say it to you, right? Now, I'm going to give you a second part of my presentation. I'm going to give my notes to break it down for you quickly. How Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, how they differentiate each other on what happened after the supposed crucifixion of Jesus. And listen attentively, inshallah, and mark it down. And then you can uh, preach to the uh, Christians. All right. So, I have brought my note here. As I said, always repeat something that this is a Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John after the supposed crucifixion of Jesus. How many women went to the tomb? Depends on which gospel you read. When they went there, was the rock rolled away or not? Depends on which gospel you read. When they went to the tomb, did Jesus appear to them or didn't appear to them? Which depends on which gospel you read. When Jesus appeared, did he stay for 30 days or he went under heaven that day? Depends on which gospel you read. And when Jesus appeared, did the disciples went to Galilee or did they went to Bethlehem? Oh, depends on which gospel you read, right? What did they do? Was Jesus hungry? Did he eat fish? Or according to John, they were fishing. What's going on there? Depends on which gospel you read. So the whole thing is a train crash, okay? But now I'm going to break it down gently for you people to especially for the christian evangelists who are watching so your mind can absorb this so i'm not going to too quick for you so you can actually contemplate on this contradiction and try to reflect yourself am i really is, is the bible really a reliable source of information for salvation or it just made up stories by people who try to persuade you to worship a dead man on the cross okay let's start with matthew i'm going to break it down this contradiction matthew mark um, I'm not going to do John because it's going to be too long. Matthew, Mark, and Luke, they are called the synoptics because they are supposed to be similar, right? And John, everyone knows, is the last one written. is the most uh, uh, radical of all of them in their uh, idolatry and uh, the paganism. But we just do stick with Matthew, Mark, and Luke because they are supposed to be the synoptics, supposed to be similar. And if I can show you they are not similar, even they are seen similar compared to John, then you can use your imagination how uh, John is more far-fetched. So let's go to Matthew, starting from the supposed res resurrection of Jesus. So Matthew, according to Matthew, two of the Mary went to the tomb. And when they got to the tomb, there was an earthquake. And then one angel appeared, and that angel rolled away the stone, and the gods ran away. So according to Matthew, two Mary went to the tomb, and there was angel, and there was an earthquake, and the stone was rolled away, and the gods ran away. And then Jesus appeared to Ma uh, Mary and Donna and told them to go to Galilee. And then uh, they told the disciples, and then all 11 went to Galilee, to the mountain of Galilee. So they actually went to Galilee themselves and went to the mountains. And then one, one, one verse 16, I'll read now. And then the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. Where they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted it. Then Jesus came and said, All authorities in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So this is what Matthew 28, 19, this is the end. So remember now, according to Matthew, the disciples went to Galilee, went to Galilee, and Jesus appeared to them on the mountain. Very important now. Let's go to next. Let's go to Mark. Mark's the earliest ever written. According to Mark, Mary, remember in, in Matthew what you said to Mary, but in Mark he says to Mary and also Jerome, uh, Simon, Simon went, or also three women went, and when they went there uh, to anoint, anoint the body, when they to anoint the body, that's the reason why they went there to anoint, but according to John, uh, John 1940, the, Jesus was already anointed before he was buried. So again, Jesus contradict Mark. So Mark, remember, in Matthew it was two women, but according to Mark, three women, and they went to anoint the body. When they got to the tomb, according to Matthew, remember, there was angel, the stone, and gods. But according to Matthew, when they got there, there's no angels, no gods, and the stone has already been rolled away. But what they see? They saw a young man. Wow. In Matthew, there's no young man. But in Mark, 
They saw a young man, and the young man tells him to go to Galilee. Subhanallah. And then what happened? Uh, then after that, Jesus appeared to many of them. Uh, and uh, sorry, then then Jesus ap appeared to Mary and drove out seven demons from her. So according to Mark, Mary was also at the same time possessed by seven demons. So Jesus appeared to Mary and drove out seven demons. Demons. Allahu Akbar. Anyway, then she told the disciples to go to Galilee to meet uh, Jesus, but they didn't believe him. Then Jesus appeared to two more people who were working working outskirts, and then told them to go to Galilee. Then so the, the two again, so Mary and two other guys told the disciples to go to Galilee, and they still didn't believe him. Then Jesus finally appears, and and uh, and say to the disciples, "Why you guys have no faith? Uh, why you guys don't believe?" Anyway, I was remarked that Jesus remarked remarked them, say that you have lack of faith and you are stubborn. This never happened in Matthew. Matthew, this, they went to the Galilee, they went to the mountain. But according to Mark, you know, the disciples didn't believe anything and they were smashing food, they were eating. And then and Jesus appears, so you guys have lack of faith, you're stubborn. Nothing about go to Galilee, not, nothing about uh, uh, the the, uh, uh, the mountain of Galilee. Then in Mark uh, 16, 15, what did Jesus say? Jesus said, 15, he said, he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And they will speak in tongues, blah, blah, blah. So in Mark, uh, in Mark Jesus said, Let's Go and baptize. Nothing about uh, the, um, the formula, and Jesus was taken to heaven. Remember, according to Matthew, he went to, uh, Jesus was taken up on the, on the mountain, but here, in uh, Subhanallah, in the uh, uh, Mark, he was went to heaven. Nothing about the mountain of Galilee. Now, last one, Luke. Luke, a group of women went. Remember, in Matthew, uh, only uh, two two women went. In Mark, three women went. According to uh, Luke, a group of women went. When they went to the tomb, remember, according to Matthew, they didn't see anyone. According to Mark, they saw one woman, one man. Now, according to Luke, they saw two men appeared, and they told the uh, the woman that Jesus has been risen, and that the woman didn't believe him. Subhanallah. Can you imagine if this is was real prophesied in the Old Testament that a disciple, uh, sorry, a Messiah going to come and die for his sins and rise on the third day? Why would the woman not believe him? They would believe it, right? Because this was been prophesied, so they should believe it. But why did he didn't believe it? Because it has not been prophesied. Anyway, according to Luke, this is a long story. Now, addition, there's two men walking outside Jerusalem. Jesus appeared to them and told them Jesus. Then those two men saw what happened. They came and told the eleven and. Uh, you know, then Jesus appeared to them and he was hungry this time. Jesus was hungry, he wanted to eat fish and uh, nothing about mentioning about living to uh, baptism. But when Luke and in chapter, uh, verse 54, 45, he says, uh, I just, I'm just speeding everything up so don't, people don't get bored. You can read this yourself to get uh, more precise details. According to Luke, at the end, before Jesus went to heaven, he said, Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. Again, we have never seen in anywhere in the Old Testament that where it says uh, Messiah is going to die and rise on the third day. And repentance of forgiveness of sin will be preached in all the nations beginning at Jerusalem. Okay, you are the witness to those things. I'm going to send you away. My father promised. But stay in the city until you have been closed with the power of on high. Verse 50. And then when he had led them out, of, out to the vicinity of Beth Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them, and he went up. So according to uh, Luke, Jesus went up to the heaven in Bethany, right? But according to, I think it was uh, Matthew, he went up in uh, Galilee. Do you know Bethany and Galilee, the mountain in Galilee? Uh, that's where it is, yeah, yeah, mountain of Galilee. It's about 200 kilometers, about three, four days walk. So I want to ask you Christians, where did Jesus go up to heaven? In the mountain of Galilee or, Galilee or in Bethany because they're not the same place, they're pretty far away, 200 kilometers away. So, how this is a subhanAllah very, very quick uh, summary of how all of the contradiction. I didn't even mention John, John is more wild, you know, you can read it yourself for entertainment. So, any uh, so this, I hope this is a summary for the brother what he asked Matthew 28 19. This is many ways we can refute it, you know. So, any Christian who came. Come to your table. You can refute them by how Acts, all of the all the disciples, including Paul, didn't baptize in this formula, and you can use it. Also, the uh, textual references, the original uh, uh, Hebrew of Matthew, the oldest existing complete gospel of Hebrew, doesn't have this long formula, and also how from the supposed uh, uh, crucifixion of Jesus onwards, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and the whole Bible contradict each other. So I cannot take any of them because if I take one, then I got to reject the other one. So as a Christian. Which virgin is the true virgin? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Did Jesus 
say baptism in the name of my name or not. Did Jesus yani, go, go up to heaven in the mountain of uh, Galilee or in Bethany? What happened to them? You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I hope the sincere Christian lasted this long and watched this long. Again, it's not attack on you, but very least it's just a Bible study that you never get in your church from your priest. But alhamdulillah, today you got it from a Muslim. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu wa la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka wa tubi like.